Today we're looking at Benjamin Franklin. Hello, welcome to the Daily Bell Ringer. Please don't forget to subscribe and take a look at the questions down in the description. Benjamin Franklin was a man of many talents and accomplishments who would make tremendous contributions to science and innovation and also help shape the political landscape of the new American nation. Franklin was a writer, scientist, inventor, printer, publisher, statesman, diplomat, political philosopher, and founding father who would be a signer of both the Declaration of Independence and the U.S. Constitution. Benjamin Franklin was born January 17, 1706 in Boston, Massachusetts, the eighth of ten children born to Josiah Franklin and his wife Abiah Folger, and he was actually the 15th of 17th children fathered by Josiah Franklin as Josiah's first wife had died. His father, Josiah Franklin, was a soap and candle maker, and young Benjamin's formal education ended at the age of 10 when he became an apprentice to his older brother, James, who was a printer. Despite his limited formal education, Franklin's insatiable curiosity and love for reading led him to educate himself extensively through books, which laid the foundation for his future success. While serving as an apprentice, Franklin famously penned witty essays under the false name of Silence Do Good in his brother's newspaper. At the age of 17, Franklin left Boston and traveled to Philadelphia, where he found work as a printer. He soon established himself as a skilled and innovative printer, contributing to the development of the printing industry in America. In 1729, Franklin purchased the Pennsylvania Gazette, a newspaper that he would use as a platform for expressing his ideas and opinions. In 1730, Benjamin had a child, William Franklin, with an unknown woman. That same year, Franklin entered into a common law marriage, or in other words, a husband and wife living together without actually marrying each other. And he did this with Deborah Reed, who was not free to get married as her first husband had fled to Barbados to avoid paying debts, and the law would not allow her to get married again. Together, Reed and Franklin would have two children. Shortly thereafter, in 1731, Franklin helped in establishing the first public library in America. Then, in 1733, Franklin began to publish Poor Richard's Almanac, in which he offered advice and humor, such as a penny saved is a penny earned. The Almanac solidified his reputation as a skilled writer. In 1736, Franklin helped in organizing the Union Fire Company, also known as the Bucket Brigade. It was the first organized all-volunteer fire department in the colonies. Franklin's intellectual genius extended beyond the printing press. His scientific experiments, particularly those involving electricity, earned him international fame. In 1752, he famously conducted the kite experiment, proving the electrical nature of lightning. This discovery laid the groundwork for his development of the lightning rod, a device that protects buildings from lightning strikes. Franklin was responsible for creating several practical inventions that improved daily life. One of his most notable inventions was the Franklin stove, a more efficient and safer heating device for homes. Additionally, Franklin invented bifocals, which addressed the need for people with both near and far sightedness to use a single pair of glasses. He is also credited with developing swim fins and the odometer, along with many other inventions. In the mid-1750s, as the French and Indian War was just beginning, Franklin proposed that the colonies come together under one central government. Known as the Albany Plan of Union, it did not succeed, but it did lay the groundwork for the government that eventually would be established in America. In the midst of the French and Indian War, Franklin traveled to England as a representative of the Pennsylvania colony. Franklin would remain in London for nearly the next two decades, from 1757 to 1775. During this time, he continued to represent the interest of the colonies in England and spoke out against taxation in the colonies. In 1774, it was exposed in the Thomas Hutchinson scandal that Franklin was a true revolutionary and wished for America to break away from Britain. He returned to America in May of 1775 and immediately joined the Continental Congress. There, he debated and helped write the Declaration of Independence. Once the American Revolution began, Franklin traveled to France, where he served as an ambassador and stayed from 1776 to 1785. Franklin would secure aid from the French in the American Revolution, which was crucial to an American victory. 
Shortly after his return to America in 1785, he then joined the Constitutional Convention in 1787 in Philadelphia and helped in writing a new constitution for the United States. By this point, Franklin was 81 years old and in poor health. After the ratification of the U.S. Constitution, Franklin was rarely seen in public. Benjamin Franklin died on April 17, 1790 at the age of 84. Benjamin Franklin's life serves as a reminder that with a curious mind and determined spirit, one can achieve greatness and leave a lasting impact on the world. So with that, hopefully you learned something, and thanks for watching.